One of the things that came up or come, has come up since we had our first uh, learn and earn uh, type discussion was about how to charge regarding uh, chronic management of diabetic patients. Because from a medical standpoint, I always encourage uh, pet owners to bring their pet to the vet at least three to four times a year. And we've been increasingly relying on them doing uh, at-home blood glucose monitoring. And a lot of vets have two questions about that. One is, won't that lead to decreased office visits if we're doing stuff at home? And if I'm taking time to do emails and phone calls with owners about blood glucose curves, do I charge for that? How do I incorporate that into treating a diabetic dog or cat? So I was wondering what you think is reasonable. You know, I don't think there's a standard out there for that. I think different practices are doing different things. And mm -hmm. so my understanding is that you don't necessarily charge for the interpretation of that. So if somebody emails you the results, then you can go through, look at it, um, communicate back to them right. by email. And I, I can see that making a lot of sense. I could see somebody saying, well, we're going to charge a minimal amount. So maybe it's going to be 15 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. um, if you're seeing the pet every three or four times a year, maybe that's a requirement. So as long as they come in and get the exam and whatever, then the emails in between are free. I think that the, right. I think one of the things we have to get away from in veterinary medicine is that we have to charge exactly the same for every single thing we do. Whereas mm -hmm. sometimes when we've got big complicated cases, it's kind of a package. Mm -hmm. and, and at some point too, if we nickel and dime people to death on something like diabetes, they won't treat. Right. And so, I mean, if you, you don't want to be totally crass about it, then your income really goes down, right? right. I mean, yeah, how, no, how do you I, approach it? I think that's true. I mean, for, for me, I usually don't charge clients for emails and phone calls, but I think it does help me in two regards. One is, is that I'm not on the phone trying to, you know, it takes up way less time to go the email route. And with email, I also get written documentation of the conversation that I had with them. And, there's some interesting studies from uh, Germany and from Australia where they actually think that even though the clients are doing at-home uh, blood glucose monitoring, it actually only increased office visits and didn't decrease them, probably because we're selecting for a really motivated group of pet owners. See, I could believe that. My mother had a diabetic cat, and she did the at-home monitoring, and she is an incredibly motivated. I mean, if you're going to be a sick pet, you want my mom, right? right? <laughs> exactly. and, and, and I would believe that right. because she was very conscientious. She'd send her stuff off. Um, I don't think the veterinarian, because I'm not practicing now, she had somebody that was kind of her primary veterinarian, and um, he would look at it. But oftentimes there was a reason that the kitty should come in before right. the three or four times a year kind right. of stuff. So I could certainly believe that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think part of the reason we do at home monitoring, I mean, part of it is because the kitty's less stressed and that kind of stuff, right? right. But part of it is is recognizing this is a complicated disease and it's, it's an expensive one right. and to help ease a little bit of that. Yeah, and I agree. I mean, I think the at home testing, you know, not only is it good for the pet, I mean, it's good medically. Um, I don't think it does anything to detract from uh, veterinary revenue because, as you mentioned, is we'll identify a lot of things on the curve and communicate with the owner, you know, there's mm -hmm. something wrong here, I, you know, this is something I'm not going to be able to deal with the, over the phone or mm -hmm. via email, so why don't we schedule an appointment and mm -hmm. have you come back in? So I, I think that's right. I think, I think the email makes this a whole lot pal more palatable if you're a practitioner as well, because phone calls do, they get away from you. You know, they're right. hard, to, you know, they tend to be during nine to five and you've got other things to do and stuff. And, um, and then clients go, oh, and I've got three other questions about ABC. And so I do think that gets away from you. But I love email for those kinds mm -hmm. of quick questions because you can do it when you want. It's easy. Like you said, you've got the, the medical records. So, you know, and I, I equate this to my business as well, because mm -hmm. at what point do I nickel and dime my consulting clients to death if they've just got a three minute question, you know? Right. And so I tend to look at it as, um, I'm not going to worry about it a whole lot. Now, if I've got a series of three minute questions, maybe at some point it's appropriate, <laughs> right, right. you know, to charge for it. Sure. But I feel much more comfortable when it's something I could do at eight o'clock at night via email than if I have to schedule a call for it. So it's a balance. Yeah, no, I agree. I think those are all good points. And I, I think a lot of our clients, very few of them misuse that, yeah. you know, and those that do will, will certainly come up with a remedy. But I think right. at the end, it just helps, um, it helps us take better care of their yeah. pets. And I yeah. think they appreciate it. That. Yeah. Well, and I think that's it. I think sometimes we're fearful of doing something because we're going to be taken advantage of. Right. The vast majority of the time it doesn't happen. And it seems a shame to, to um, make it difficult for the good clients just because we're fearful of mm -hmm. one or two that are going to be a right. problem. And like you said, you can come up with a remedy for those right. people. Exactly.